Welcome back to another edition of Precision Fly of the Week. Today we're going to tie a little mini jig olive bugger. Hook I got on the vise is a Fulling Mill Jig Force 5045 in size 12. The hook is a fire hole stone slotted 1 8 inch. And the body we're going to use is Simple Fly Ice Straggle. The tail is going to be Marabou. First start your thread right behind the bead. This is Simple Fly. 12 uh, classic waxed and olive. What you want to do is you want to build a slight little thread dam behind the bead in order to keep the bead up there. And take the thread just short of the bend of the hook and stop. Here's the marabou. So what I like to do with the marabou is I clip off the very tip of this. And then I basically preen it all back like this. Measure it out roughly about hook shank and length. And then using a pinch wrap, I make a couple of capturing wraps here before I cinch it down tight. Bring it forward towards the bead and then back again towards the bend of the hook. And then you trim off the excess. Using your thread, take it back to the bend, and that way it pushes that tail down. Bring the thread forward and basically cover up the remainder of that marabou. So for the body here, we're going to use Simplify Ice Straggle. Bring your thread up just to behind the bead itself, tie there on top of the shank, and then as you wrap towards the bend, bring it towards the side, and that helps build your taper. Then take your thread back up to just behind the bead. So with all these little strings here on the ice straggle, just preen it back with each wrap. The ice straggle provides a little bit of flash and then also additional movement. Don't worry about any of the fibers that make it swing forward. We'll trim that off in the end when we clean up the fly. Capture the ice straggle with a couple wraps in front, a couple wraps in the back, and then snip off the excess. So if you have any fibers here that are like way out of control you go ahead and just trim them any that are a little bit longer than the tail I like to snip off too you can leave it I don't think it really affects how it fishes but just for neatness sake I like to do the trim for the hackle we're using a wapsy hen and olive so preen back the fiber or the uh, the hackle so that a little triangle is exposed here Snip it off. And what that does is that basically it gives you a tie in point. Tie it in right behind the bead, a couple wraps in the back, a couple up front. And then what I like to do is add a little bit of the solar res UV resin. I'll do my thread, do a couple wraps there, zap it, and that way it locks it in. Nothing more frustrating than when you tie in your hackle did all the trimming and everything and you pull it out when you do your wrap. So what I do is I preen the hackle towards the bed of the hook and then using my forefinger basically guide it the first couple wraps so that it continues facing the rear. You don't want this too densely hackled so all I do on here is just basically one wrap. Oops, got a couple fibers going forward here helps when you slightly wet your finger and if you got big fingers go ahead and use hackle pliers so I'm going with about one and a half wraps again capture it with a couple wraps in the behind it a couple in front 
and then trim off the excess. And then I'll grab a hold of all this hackle here and then do a couple more tight wraps there. At this point here, I'll put a little bit more of the Solar Res Bone Dry on. And then zap it with my light. Makes the fly just a little bit more durable. And then do three to four turn whip finish. And trim up your thread. And then one more dab of the bone dry. Zap with the light. And that's all to it. Really simple to tie. It catches a ton of fish. Thanks for watching.